Moving on to Morphe. If oh, you're from Houston, Texas, and you didn't know, and you're a huge Morphe fan, Morphe just opened up their first store in the Beautiful. city. And Beautiful. we came across it, like, last weekend. We were in the Random mall week. with my boyfriend going to East Cheese, Cheese Cheesecake Factory. And we were like, oh, my God. And it was the grand opening, and the line was like, out the door. Girl. So I went in. We went in anyway just to, like, see, like, what the store looked like, how they displayed everything. I really needed some brushes, like specifically the blending brushes for my eye makeup. I've never been good at eye makeup, and I'm really working diligently at it to get better. Keep trying. So. Hard. <laughs> so I decided to talk to the rep, and he was like, yeah, you should get some of the, the blending brushes. So we're going to go through. We'll start with brushes. Brushes, and then, and then we'll move to the makeup as well. Of course, we had to pick up a palette. You so. know, girl. And Jacqueline Hill dropped her new collection for brushes, which sure is. Sure did. Beautiful, but in my opinion, overpriced. All right, Lo, you go first. How many brushes did you get? I got. What? Well, I, I was meeting Lauren in the mall, like, and I come from work, and I parked by Neiman Marcus, which is by the Morphe store, and she parked in Nordstrom, which is closer to just well, honestly, on the other side of the mall. Basically, regardless. she had to walk. I got. Mm, Six brushes. Okay, and I got four. Okay. So go ahead. You want me to go first? I'll go first. Okay. Uh, we can kind of talk about it by category. So I picked up two blender brushes. These are just eyeshadow blenders. The first one I picked up was the M441 brush, which I hear is a beautiful crease brush. Uh, for blending things out or focusing in the crease, you know. Uh, 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 uh. And then the second one I got is another crease brush that I hear is wonderful again. And this is the M576 brush. Again, you know, this one's more for blending all the crazy colors that I like to put on my eyes and making sure everything flows seamlessly, you know. <laughs> but I got two blender brushes. So... As I've stated before, I'm kind of like a beginner in the whole eye makeup category. Lauren's been trying to teach me how to do like the shadows and stuff. It's true artistry that I have yet to master, but it's I will fun. get there. If I can contour, I can, I can put on eye makeup. I'm just I'm going to get there. I'm just saying. So I've been on the real brow struggle. I'm in the process of like really like letting my brows grow out from just years of threading and then cutting them down too low and not doing them the way that I wanted them. Anyway. So I decided to get this dual spoolie and eyebrow brush, the M158, which looks like this. It's got the, like, uh, how would you describe it? It's a slant brush, mm -hmm. <laughs> so you can really define the line, and then it's got the spoolie at the end. And also with that, I decided that I wanted to get like a eyeliner brush with mm. the slanted thing. I'm pretty good about using like eyebrow pencil, not eyebrow pencil eyeliner pencils to just like freehand it like mm -hmm. I'm, I've always been good at that but I wanted to try some of the gel stuff and I needed the, the tools to do that so here it is get it girl yeah what <laughs> like, what? whatever you have a blender brush oh okay that one. I also picked up the uh, M433 which is a blender brush that was recommended like to me like, are they like the they're basically the brush? they're the same but they're not the same she got, I got the M441, she got the M443. So they're both blending brushes. I think one is just like maybe a little bit taller than the yeah. other, maybe a little bit wider in the bristle. But the one of the makeup artists there really recommended it. He's like, I have a million of these. I think they're great. He's like, if you're really trying to work on your blending skills, you need this brush. So I picked it up and we're going to use it. Next, Next what else you got? Okay, and then I have a powder brush and a foundation brush. So I picked up the, let's see, powder brush and M554. This is literally in, you know, loose powder, translucent powder, set in under the eyes, around my nose, all that stuff. So we ain't getting no crazy oil with this brush. And then the last brush I have is the M436 which is a stippling brush, a smaller stippling brush, so I like to focus a foundation whenever I apply it, like this. So just a foundation brush. Like the first brush I ever learned how to contour with was a brush like that. Stippling brush. And it was from uh, Sonia Kashik. Target. My first was the <laughs> Real Techniques 
the sibling brush. brush. Yeah. Classic. We're moving up, man. Yeah. All right. Moving on. So I have seen the gold collection on Beautiful. so many oh YouTube channels. Gosh, everyone has And been. people swear by this collection. And I was just like, okay. Six bucks, I have to yes, try please. it. Yes, please. So I picked up the Y14, which is a highlighter brush. Mm -hmm. um, typically... I have a brush like this from Real Techniques, but I always used it like to apply like the banana powder or the, like the setting translucent powder, mm -hmm. just because it was like easy to focus on that small area. So I wanted to work my blinding highlight, and I decided to pick up the tool for it. Um, next, I picked up the da -da -da, Holy Grail brush. Y6 foundation brush. So it's the flat top foundation brush. Everybody swears by it. I usually don't like brushes because they are kind of streaky, but this brush. Heavenly. Girl. Girl. Amazing. So, so excited. I may even try my Beauty Blender stuff with it today since I didn't bring my Beauty Blender. You should. I will. Why not? And then, last but not least, I decided to pick up a M108 brush. It is a big contouring brush. So, a big brush. I have like a slanted contour brush just to get like my cheekbones and stuff. But I needed a better brush to blend out my bronzer and my contour on my forehead because I had used like a big powder brush and it would just get everywhere and it didn't look good. Mm -hmm. So I, I leveled up. Yeah. We're moving up in the world. Yeah. So moving on from brushes, we are going to move on to makeup. So I only have one makeup item that I got, which is the two. Hi, B Bronze Mocha Eyeshadow Palette. They were also having a sale in Morphe today that we became aware of. So and select that, palettes wow. in the store are 20% off. Yes, please. And we looked at all the palettes and we found a couple that Lauren is really like an earth tone, gold, browns. That's her thing. So she found a smaller this is palette. Glorious. Look at the shades, ladies. Look at that. <laughs> wow. And it's a cool mixture of glitters and mattes. So I can't wait to play with this. And the thing about Morphe that we wow. love so much is like the actual product itself is kind of creamy on more mm -hmm. of the glittery ones. And then the matte ones are obviously a little bit drier. Mm -hmm. But it just, it's so easy to, to apply. And they're so affordable, which is great. Wow, wow, wow. What's, what's this palette called? The 25 B. Alright. And it was retail like $23, I think. Plus, well, not see. like 15, 16 bucks. And it was on sale for $14. So it's fine. Thanks. <laughs> and I decided to pick up the 15H, which retailed in store for it was, um, it was 14 but I paid 12 for it. So I'll save my $2 savings. Um, it is a happy hour eyeshadow palette. So this is kind of like a orangey, more I'm brighter excited. color palette, as you can see. Wow. I played it safe in the past, so I decided, well, let's try something different. <laughs> Picked up something with a little bit more color. We're about to go into fall, so... These are some fall tones that I'm excited to play with, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> Everything is beautiful to us. We are like, I mean, we're just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, all these When makeup. you can only look at these things online, and then all of a sudden, they decide to build a store in the mall in your city, we and then we accidentally stumble no. upon it because no one even knows that it's there. And it was the middle of the day. Like, I had gotten off early what? from work on a... It's Friday. I'm today. like, yes, please. And Thank so we you. were like, hmm, let's capitalize I'll on take this. one of every one. I wish. It but we had to, like, control we ourselves. Gotta be we're not crazy. We got jobs. We got, we got bills. Okay? Cool. Lauren got one makeup thing, but I have three more things, and I'll do them all together. Get so, I kind of have smaller eyes compared to Lauren and a lot of other girls. I have a bigger nose, so my eyes look kind of small, in my opinion. So, I've seen a lot of people try this trick it's a using a white like I'm excited eyeliner to see this at the on bottom it. to make your eyes see what it comes open up to more like. and I got the color I think it's coconut here it's like this it's I like the name it. it had coconut and they had pearly and pearly was a little bit more 
I guess like yellow, like like eggshell, eggshell, yeah. And I was like, hmm, let's go with something a little bit more true white. This is their Akira. I can't tell you the last time I used like a wood like eyeliner pencil. I always use like liquid. Yeah, I was gonna say I haven't used a wooden eyeliner pencil. I didn't even buy lip pencil. Like yes, all yeah. the time. But eyeliner, no. So definitely gonna try that in my next video. And then finally, I was telling Lauren in the store like. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Okay. I wanted to I'm try pumped. this like blue like, gel can liner. Can you put it on now, please? So I picked up the Morphe gel liner in the color uh, vitamin C, and it is a beautiful like. It's not orange, y'all. No. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. It's a beautiful like blue, like almost ocean blue indigo color. Cobalt, y'all. Cobalt. 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 We are coming for you. And I want to do like a nice winged out cat eye with this and my new pencil. And I'm yes. excited. It's just going to be like a fun like look for a night out. We don't go out that often, so. No. <laughs> We're homebodies. We like to like go to sleep and like watch TV and YouTube. On We're grown. Yeah. It's fine. And then finally, I got the gel liner in the color Jet, which is just black. You can never go wrong with black. Um, just for an everyday look. This is it right here. This gel liner comes with about 0 0.08 ounces, 2.5 grams of product. That's a lot. Which is more than enough. Those are for your eyes. Yeah. I don't do my eyeliner like every day. Yeah. So it should last a while. So guys, that's it. That's everything. We've gone through everything. We didn't buy that much, but what we, we did buy was like stuff we needed. Yeah. Not necessarily. This wasn't just necessarily like a wanted. haul just for the hell of it. Yeah. Type thing. But thank you so much for tuning in and yeah. watching our video. Come back to see our channel, guys. There's so much more to come. Yes. Bye. Yeah. So we're excited to take this journey. If you're interested in taking this journey with us, please subscribe, like, comment, click the bell. Say hey, say what's up, y'all. If you and H say nice go things. To the H's. Okay. Say nice <laughs> things, guys. Say nice things. Yeah. But um, um yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching our video. See you later. We'll see y'all next time. Peace.